Hey everyone, welcome back to another brand new video on my channel. Today's video, we are almost at 400 subscribers. Wow, that is absolutely crazy. Um, absolutely mind blowing, actually. Um, 400 subscribers. Wow, that is <laughs> that's a bit. I don't know. That's just a bit too much, really. Um, but it makes me happy. Uh, obviously, if people are subscribe sub, sub sub subscribed. Um, obviously they'll see you know my videos pop up a lot more. Um, whether you're not, and you'll have to look and search for my videos every time. Um, now as a little kind of early, you know, four hundred subscriber special. Um, I've decided this is if I do hit four hundred. Um. I've decided I'm going to try and create some form of community, um, you know, for us all really, um, which focuses on what humanity has done to the earth. Um, you know, there is a few things I would like to point out here. Humanity has done nothing but destroy this planet. Now, you get people like this Swedish, Norway motherfucker, I don't know where she's from, uh, Greta Thunderberg or something, I don't know what her name is, but she's some piece of shit, um, really. How dare, how dare you say that? I can't remember the video, but it's so, so funny. Um, she's an asshole. She just makes a fool out of herself, but that's just me. So, I want to do something well, well more crazier than that. I want to start a community up. Wow. And get loads of people joining in, right? Getting maybe 10, 15 people joining in. Maybe 20, 40, 50. And um, obviously this will, these will be from, you know, whether in the UK or in some other places. And um, I eventually want to um, start some form of project where... Everybody has to start growing poisonous plants, um, whether it's giant hogweed. Uh, if you're in the UK and you don't really know, you know, what type of type of plants to grow. Giant hogweed is one of them. It's quite common. Uh, you can find it everywhere. I found it. I find it everywhere in the summer. Um, the seeds, in order to get the seeds, you have to wait until about just after summer, you know, like after summer where it's like cold, where like everything is starting to die off. Then on the top where the, where the flowers are, the little white flowers, seeds will grow on top of there. Then you, like hundreds of seeds and you just pick them off and then you can plant them at home or plant them, plant them whenever, just seal them in a bag and then keep them for when you want to grow them or grow them whenever you want really. Um, as long as it's in hot weather to grow. Um, so, or foxglove. Um, you can find that in some really wild areas that not many people go to. Um, you know, don't know how to get the seeds from that though. You could probably just carefully dig up the plant and then repot it somewhere and then grow it. Or try and find out a way to get the seeds um usually there's a pod that grows or falls off a plant and you can collect it um until it's all ready then you can grow them but yeah this community is focusing on poisonous plants now the reason why i'm doing this is because no matter who you are no matter what you are you were all loved you know so the tiger is looked upon as being a dangerous animal. The shark is always looked at as, you know, err, you know, kind of looking like really scary and kind of, you know, violent, you know. And I think that these animals are born this way for survival, you know, and they can't change the way how they look. You know how people get really depressed about how they, how they look, you know, they think they're ugly, they think that they're not worth anything. You know, you can't change how you look, you know, it's the same with cats, tigers, why have they got the paws, why do they always have those really sharp paws, right, they can't change that, they're born like that, right, you know, I'm born with two arms, I'm born with two legs, I'm born with hair, you know, 
we're all born, you know, our certain own way, you know. And I want plants to also feel that as well. Because I'm, I feel like I'm the only person only doing this, right? I feel like I'm actually doing something really cool for this world. Um, and I feel like plants just need just as much love, really. Um, you know, if you treat a dog and if you give a dog, you know, sweets and whatnot, uh, whatever they eat, um, they're going to love you and they're going to reward you back, you know? They're going to save you in some situation of life. And I think just because a plant, you know, oh, it's just a plant, you know, it's just a plant. No, it's not just a plant. It's a plant that holds many medical benefits, right? And many bad benefits too, you know? Um, I can't really give you any examples. Um, Borachara tree, scopalamine, you know, growing up the seeds. I'm not going to tell you how to make scopalamine because that's a little bit dangerous. So I'm not going to tell you the exact recipe on how to make it, but, um, you know, blow into someone's face, you know, brain dead for 24 hours, rob them. You know, plants are so powerful, you know, and what they can do, you know. So I think plants need that love and attention because they're there for a reason, you know. I don't think a plant, just because it holds so much THC or just because it does this, it should be abused that way, you know. I think that you should try things, you know, oh, what's this leaf, laurel, cherry laurel, you know, oh, another plant that you can probably grow or find, um, you know, that produces cyanide, which is uh, quite a dangerous chemical, I've heard, um, that's naturally grown into the plant, um, and I believe that, you know, the, the plant can't help it, you know, the plant's grown poisonous, right, it, it it doesn't want to hurt anybody, you know, it wants to hurt predators, sure, you know, I mean, if a snail is trying to bite you, what do you want to do, do you want to grow poison so it dies, so it doesn't come back again, you know, it's a common sense, you know, don't go ahead and find a jimson weed and dig it up and kill it, because you're just killing a life, you know, you're killing life, really, and that really fucking annoys me, you know, and I will put a gun right between your fucking eyes, and I will shoot you, motherfucker, if I see you doing that, you cunt. And that is why I think that we should really come together and try and do something, you know, try and do something together, you know, and to stop all this violence and to stop all this, you know, nonsense between oh, this is, this is what I'm doing, and I'm gonna do this, you know, no, 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 we respect one, one altogether, you know, we don't go ahead and, you know, because that's what humanity's about, you know, humanity was about helping one another, helping one another, you know, giving people medicine when they need it, you know, not ripping people off, you know, and trying to take businesses and take over certain parts, you know, leadership, you know, politicians, Everything like that, you know, that, 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 that's what's destroying everything, okay? You need to, you need to live and you need to enjoy this, this natural life, you know? You, re you really need to enjoy it, you really need to love it, you know, like how I love plants. And like I said, I treat plants, I treat plants like animals because they're all living things, you know? Just be happy and... And if you do see a plant, just water it or just touch the leaves because they actually have certain nerves and certain sensations when they actually feel loved. Now, if you take the care and the time to love a plant, great things are going to come to you, I assure you. Just because a plant's dangerous doesn't mean it should be left in the dark. Every life is valuable. Every single life is valuable. Do not ever think that, you know, just because this dog looks super cute, right, and this mucky, dirty dog, you know, this messy dog, right? No, they're, they're both the same value, you know? They're both equal, you know? You, you know what I'm trying to say, okay? I'm just wanting everybody or every living thing to love one another, and that's what plants are doing. But this is why you keep killing them, right? Cannabis plants. When someone cultivates them, someone kills them. 
Just let them grow. Let them grow. Let them be them. You know, let them enjoy this life. You know? And that's the point I'm trying to make. Start showing some poisonous plants some love, you know, instead of digging them up and saying, oh no, don't touch that, that's poisonous. I overdosed on Datura for a whole fucking year and survived. If I can do it, you can do it.